Hey everyone, welcome to a little workshop on how to customize the spread shop part one. And um, in this part I want to show you how you can customize the spread shop um, and make it fit to all your graphical needs without using any HTML, CSS or whatsoever. So we're just gonna work in the back end of Spreadshirt. And first let's take a look at what we're gonna do. So here we are. This is the shop we want to create. Um, you see the background has changed. We have a nice header. Um, the shop is wider than before. And what I did is I um, created a complete new shop. I set up a, uh, a new shop. You see it here. It doesn't look bad, but um, it could look better. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So first things first, let's log in to Spreadshirt. Once you're logged in, you're going to click on My Account. Whoops, I'm not logging yet. Okay, so you have to click on my account, click on shops, and there you see appearance. Everything below this is about how your shop is going to look like. So let's click on layout, and here we can define a lot of things. Um, most of these are about how your index page is going to look, so where the overview is of all your shirts. The first question is um, the shop view. Is it going to be compact or detailed? And the compact view means um, you have at least three shirts side by side. And if we change this to details, we're going to have a more detailed view on every shirt. The shop width is the width of the shop in pixel size. We're going to do a standalone shop, so we're not going to use it in an iframe. So we can say we want to have it in the maximum width, which is 828 pixels. We're asked for the mini banner. So um, we could make the mini banner, which is this one here, disappear if we have a premium shop. Um, take a look at the premium options. We don't have one yet, so we can't do this. The display of available color options is here. So your shop can have um, all the colors a shirt can have in the overview, but it depends on you if you want to have it or not. Um, I made it disappear because it looks more clean if you have it on a, on a dark shop um, like this that we want to create. So let's say we don't want to display them. Um, category names and article category selection. Um, by default they're on yes and I like these options because it gives you a better overview. Sort product by size, uh, by price, I'm sorry. I would say no. So no one comes to your shop and um, wants to select the product by its price. So people should decide by the style and the look of your shirts what they want to buy. Asking for lines. Um, you see we have six products here and we have two lines now. But if we go to the detailed view, we're only going to have four shirts on our start page. That's not what we want. So let's increase this to eight. The product type, display, category choice are these drop downs. Um, people can navigate by this drop downs to maybe all women's shirts and there they can say I want all organic products and um, so on. Let's go to the um, start page back. So um, I think this is a very um, very nice option to have so let's have this. Okay, we're gonna save it. Go back to our shop and now if we reload you can see our shop is wider than before we have all the products on our start page in a nice detailed view um, it makes it makes your shirts uh, a little bit look more outstanding so your your website design can can breathe a little more okay 